Hello everyone, welcome back to another guitar tutorial and today we're going to be learning about the song Hiding from Friends by Lucas Stern so I'd just like to say a quick thank you to this person right here for suggesting this song for me to teach thank you, thank you very much and um, yeah, so the chords that we're going to be learning today are going to be these ones right here yep, and first up is going to be the E major 7 chord which is going to be like this to do this chord it's going to be a dead string on the lower E string and that's going to be 7, 9, 8, 9, then another dead string. Yep, next up is going to be the C sharp minor 7 chord. It's going to be like this. And for this one, we're going to be using our index finger to bar the entire 4th fret, starting from the A string down to the high E string. And as for the rest of the chord shape, it's going to be a dead string on the lower E string. That's going to be 4, 6, 4, 5, then 4. Next up is going to be the B major 7 chord, which is going to be like this one right here. Now it's exactly the same exact chord shape as the E major 7 chord earlier, and I'm just going to be moving this from the 7th fret down to the 2nd fret. So all in all, that's going to be another dead string on the lower E string. Then that's going to be 2, 4, 3, 4, then another dead string. Yep, so once more, it's going to be the E major 7 chord, C sharp minor 7. That's going to be the B major 7 chord. E major 7, C sharp minor 7, then the B major 7 chord. And as for the plucking pattern, it's going to be this one right here. Yep, so allow me to demonstrate. It's going to be this one right here. So allow me to break it down for you guys. So the first thing that we're going to do is going to be plucking the A string with our thumb. That's going to be the index finger on the D string. That's going to be the middle finger on the G string. Then once again, the thumb on the A string. But this time, we're going to be plucking the ring finger on the B string. Then once more, thumb on the A string. Middle finger on the G string. That's going to be the index finger on the D string. Yep, so that's going to be A, D, G, A, B, then A, G, then B. Yep. Yep. So for example, with the E major 7 chord, it's going to be like this. Yep. A, D, G, A, B, A, G, D. Yep, same thing for the C sharp minor 7. As well as the B major 7. Yep. C sharp minor 7. As well as the B major 7 chord. Yep, and with that said, that entire plucking pattern is going to be worked for 4 whole counts for each chord that you're going to be playing here in this song. And with that out of the way, the chord progression for this song is going to be this one right here. Yep, first up is going to be the E major 7 chord for 8 counts, which means that we're going to be doing our plucking pattern for this chord twice. So it's going to be like this. That's 1. Yep, and that's 2. So all in all, it's going to be like this. That's going to be the C sharp minor 7 chord for 4 counts. That's going to be the B major 7 chord for 4 counts. Yep, just like that. Once more, E major 7 chord for 8 counts. C sharp minor 7. Then B major 7. Yep, then after that, we're going to be repeating that entire thing for a total of 16 repetitions. Then we're going to be ending it all off with the E major 7 chord. So you could do it like this. Or like this. Or like this. Or with the plucking pattern. And it all depends on you and your preference when it comes to playing this song. And once you finally figure that out, it's going to sound a little bit like this. It's not your fault, I know it's mine, just let me make it right. It's not your fault, I know it's mine, just let me make it right. 
So yeah, this is the end of the guitar tutorial. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed it so that I'll know. And please once again do not forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell down below so that you guys will be able to stay updated for future videos. So if you guys would like me to teach anything else, just comment it down below as well. I'll try to do it for you, and you will also be able to show your support by sending a super thanks my way down below as well. And you will also be able to show your support by sending a super thanks my way down below as well. I'd really appreciate that. And yeah, so if you guys would like to watch my other guitar tutorials, just click these ones right here. So all good. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.